I picked these games up for nest to nothing. <laughs> Good afternoon, boys and ghouls. <laughs> Get it? Because uh, spooky? Anyway, I am uh, heading out right now to go do a deal that I am really excited about. And it was honestly very strange how this deal came about. It actually was a viewer who reached out to me because he saw my Switch Lite trade ad in Next City over didn't realize that I was so close by and so he reached out to me on Facebook and was like, hey, I actually live like, you know, an hour or two away from you and I've got a good amount of stuff that I was going to put on eBay. Don't really have the time or energy for it, so would you be uh, interested in just, you know, buying it out? And I said, abso freaking lootly And not only that, but he also said that he's got some other stuff that he already does have listed, but he would be, oh, he would be willing to trade. So I'm bringing a whole bunch of extra stuff that I had that either I was going to put on Amazon uh, or I was gonna go trade in. And if the deal is right, then I may also do uh, some additional trading on top of the purchase that we agreed on. Uh, I'm paying $600 for this lot of stuff and there's a whole bunch of like cool retro stuff, a bunch of NES and just kind of a good mix. So I'm excited to take you guys along and without further ado, let's go check it out. Alrighty, so I'm here with Lee. How you doing? Who is a uh, new friend. We're about to check out this deal here. Do you wanna give a shout out? Yeah, shout out to Leslie. Tucker, my sister-in-law, my wife, Leah, who watches your channel. Thanks for the, the good videos. Leslie and Leah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Tell me the the story behind this. Is this like so, uh, this like yard sale finds and stuff? Now, this is part of a big lot that I bought, man. I actually met the gal online. And okay. He, nine PS2s for sale for three fifty. dollars So I was like, okay, I'm going to sure. check it out, make a little money. Yeah. And uh, I got there, and he, I was like, do you have anything else? And he was like... Uh, well, yeah, actually, I do. He's like, I got a whole gaming store that closed down, so his whole basement was full. Wow. Well, go ahead cool. And whatever you want. Yeah, that'd be great. So we got a lot of Nintendo stuff in here. The disc is on the back side, and then there's your, I guess, the adapter to plug in to put your cheats on, and it's got a USB to go to okay, your Okay, I think this goes to something it. else. Oh, does it? I think, I'm not sure if that's the original thing or not. I threw the PSP in there too, now it doesn't have a back. I found that as an extra too. I, didn't I know gotcha. If you use that or not. Okay, well, worst case, I could sell it for parts, I guess. There's uh, two discs that are in there with it also, I believe. Okay. Is that in, in this guy? I think two of those are empty and you get a DS that's in one of them. Okay. And then you've got the handhelds that are below that. You've got a grid, original DS that plays the Game Boy Advance. Uh huh. And then, uh, Game Boy, two Game Boy Colors. Ultraman. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I had never seen that before. There's another box in here with your DS games also. Great. Yeah. Why don't you go through it? Okay, take your time. Awesome, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, I, I looked at a lot of stuff in the pictures, so it, you know, we've got these guys. These look pretty clean. Nice. And so here we've got a bunch of like the Wii accessories and right, stuff. That's all your accessories, extra remotes, and then I wrapped all your cords underneath this for each console that you had. That was before that were out of the box. So you've got all your. So the consoles that are in the box have the cords. You're saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. So right up underneath the bag there. That way you see everything. So then we've got at least like at least four of each in this one. Oh yeah, you've got four or five, I believe, total uh, controllers. Okay. And then all your cables for your system, right there with your system. And then this is all the hookups. And, the systems, you've got two and, the, and systems. systems. And okay. And four sets of cables for each one. And have these been tested as well? Everything in here has been tested other than your Sega Genesis. Like I say, those consoles, they've got controllers for each. But I've only got one set of hookups that would actually run them. Honestly, I don't mess with Genesis a ton Actually, anyway. Now this one here will be in your extras, the power cord okay. for this. This one works. This one here, I took it, it's a Pong system. Okay. This is, I cleaned this one up good. Yeah. It takes batteries. I had never seen one before, but this back cover comes off. It takes four C batteries. And this one does work. Okay. So this is in the, like the trade pile? Yeah. That's you said? All, yeah. This is all you back here. I've got the extra stuff up front. Oh, I see. This okay. Is all yours. Yeah. Well, thank you. 
cool. This one looks like it's in nice shape. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's like an eggshell. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's two in that box. There's one in the bottom one. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, good. And it comes with the game too. Yeah, That's yeah, game to to that helps. All right, and so here we have the start of the games, and these were pretty well all pictured, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything you got here is pictures, and I'll put it up on the box just so you can turn it what you have. Okay. Let me get you paid for this stuff, okay. first of all, and then I'll bring out my stuff, see if you're interested in any of that. All right, there's six. Thank you, sir. You're welcome to double count that. Here's what I have. Some of it, so I brought one of each of those things like you mentioned, okay. and then I also brought some other stuff. Here's the stuff that you had mentioned, the one of each game. Um, and those ones, and then I do have two Switch games. These, you know, higher. they're on the higher end. Well, I brought some extras in Okay, case sure. On top of what I told you I was bringing. So. Yeah, and then there's these as well. And then all the stuff that's left in here oh, wow. would be uh, a lot easier for me to let go of. Well, if you want to keep this, because I'm actually going to trade you the Wii U, I don't... Oh, okay, you no problem, so, yeah. 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 I don't know how much you're interested in, like, PS2 or 360. That's most of That's what, what this I'll is. That's what collect for right now. Is oh, the really? The original Xbox, the 360, and the PS2. So. Great. Well, maybe you'll be interested in these, and these I'd, would be a lot easier to let go of. Right. They, uh... Because, like, this stuff, it sells pretty quick on Amazon. Right. Um, but the rest of this stuff, you know, it probably means more to you than me. Yeah. Like I say, that's, that's what I look at. I also, I have a little bit of PS1 in here. Okay. Oh, and here's one more brand new Xbox. That's pretty common, but last but not least, I also have the, there you go, the Switch. Switch Lite. Yeah. And there should be a cord in here. There is that. So that's everything that's on the table on my end. Okay. And there is some more PS2 stuff here. Oh, and here's another new Xbox One game. Okay. That one's a PAL version, actually. All right. Does it, does it still play on ours or no? I think so. Actually, I don't know if I've ever tried it. Did it just come in a bundle, I guess? You, you yeah, it? yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you for sure on that one. Okay. And there's a couple more miscellaneous things in here. Monopoly on the N64. Okay. <laughs> I just, uh, that was another thing that went quick was the 64s. Man. I bet. They, uh, People love that stuff right oh, now. Yeah, I know it's okay, so let's look at this, this, and this. Okay. With that, and I'll bring you what I've got. Alrighty. Okay, this is the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's got Mario paint with it, and I believe eight or ten games. Too. Okay. So let you look at that. You can open everything up. Like I say, it's all. All right. Up. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in just seeing what the games are. Uh, this is the Wii U. Street Fighter 2, got the gamepad and the sensor there, good. So this one, I replaced the screen, it's got a new glass screen in it and a new monitor. Okay. And I ordered the back off, you can kind of see the difference yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a Harry Potter with it, looks like it's, it's worth it. Okay. Final Fight, City Conquest, and... And this is the other stuff I found, so 3DS, uh, Super Smash Brothers, you got a couple of good games in the cases here. Okay. Huh. WrestleMania, got some games there too. <laughs> that was a close one. So I think what I'd probably be most interested in would be these two. Okay. Um, Potentially this as well. I don't know the value on these at all. Right. Um, uh, one I couldn't pronounce. It was yeah. going for nine. 
mm -hmm. 20 eBay. I don't know if it'd be higher on Amazon or not. So gotcha. Two, probably three, four bucks a piece. Okay. You said that this pile is the stuff that you're interested in? Yeah, just this year. Like I say, if you, I'm, I'm mainly doing two games for my boys. If you want to take back, like I say, they're never going to play these. I was just getting them more or less for me. But sure. if you want to knock off something mm -hmm. or you can still make your money, that's fine. Okay. So, if you're just wanting that, if you're not on the Game Boy, so you're still on the fence. Um, I, I could, I could definitely buy the Game Boy as well. These I could kind of take or leave. Uh, this, well, let me take a look at the console here. This one, honestly, you can have. I'm, I'm Are you good. sure? I'm, yeah, you can have that. Okay. So what are you thinking on this? That pile there. That stack. So what you've got here? I'd be, I'd be close on it. Okay. The biggest thing for me is. This, right, since it's still good. sealed. Right, this okay, one, so this one's not as sealed. big a deal. Okay. That one's worth maybe like 30 or 40. Okay. But this one, since it's like limited run and still sealed, is so maybe a little, a little disproportionate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is still worth around 60, at least on Amazon. It doesn't go for that on eBay. Right. But if we took this out, then uh, I think I could do it. What if I drop that stack, that stack, and take these two in the switch? I think I can still make that work. Are you sure? Yeah. Like I say, don't, don't do something and, you're not comfortable with, man. And honestly, I can throw some of these in as well that just aren't worth all that much for me. So, well, like, you, this you one you can do, still have. If you want to do a throw in, what about the Rocket League? Would you do that one with it? That would be the only other one I'd, I'd really want for them. You can sure. Keep that will work? Yeah, I can I'll do that. Okay, all this is yours. Alrighty. Good deal. All right, so the deal is done. Lee, thanks again for hooking me up with all of this solid inventory back here. You guys can see there is plenty to go through. I'm gonna try to maybe get it out, uh, get it laid out as best I can to give you guys a better look when I get home. It might actually be later this week because I'm thinking about doing a YouTube live, just like unpacking and researching a lot of this stuff. Did a good amount of research beforehand, but not on all of the games and stuff like that. I think that could make a pretty fun uh, live session. So uh, that will have already happened at this point. You can check uh, my like, I don't know, some playlist or so. it'll be somewhere on my channel. Really stoked about this deal and uh, about time to head back home and get it all unpacked. All right, people, so I have gotten everything laid out here. My office is an absolute mess, so I apologize in advance for that. I have a little bit better of an idea of what this stuff is actually worth, so I'm gonna take you guys around a little tour of this horribly messy office. Bear with me a little bit on that. Over here are all of the NES games uh, that are actually worth selling individually. You can see we have some doubles here. These go down to about $4 in value after fees on up to around 20 or 24. Then we have some uh, Super Nintendo titles here, a few DS and a few Wii games that are worth something. Those bottom ones I'll just end up bundling. Then over here we have all of the games that I'm gonna end up either trading in or maybe holding on to. Uh, I may start stockpiling some stuff to eventually do a vendor booth. But you can see we've got a good amount of random DS games that aren't worth anything. This is just a ton of trade-in. Decent value here overall. Then we've got some random NES accessories down here. Some, uh, what's this called again? Like some, some sort of an NES pad or something? Some zappers that maybe I'll save to bundle. We got a whole bunch of SNES accessories in there. We got a Retron 3, a GameCube with a couple of controllers. There's a uh, Sega, what is this again? A uh, Dreamcast in here. I haven't sold very many of those. Uh, that has some extra controllers and everything, which is really nice. Got a ton of copies of Mario Bros and Duck Hunt right here. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that this stuff over here is just about worth $600. So that is the money back uh, just in that stack. Wanted to show this random thing as well. This is, what is this even called again? A Telegames Pong. In working condition, this goes for around 50 bucks without the cool case. The thing is, I don't know if I know how to test it. I don't think my TV, I mean, what what the heck even is that? May have to sell it in untested. I really should get an older TV so I can test stuff like that, but uh, uh, work. 
Nobody likes work. I would guess that this is probably conservatively $200 worth of uh, like trade-in games. Obviously not gonna be trading in this guy. Also a few things that I haven't mentioned include a good number of Genesis systems here, which I just, I don't like Genesis. I don't like dealing with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I think they're untested. We got five Wii systems, uh, three NES systems, and plus whatever happens to be in here I, okay we got some more snes stuff a good amount of handheld stuff there that'll be kind of fun to go through as well um sorry i'm <laughs> i have to try to be somewhat efficient with this i wish that i could give you guys a look at absolutely everything in the bundle but being a one-man show gotta be a little bit judicious with my time we've got this oh this game boy here some of this you may have seen in the pickup itself a couple of game boy colors as well as all of these Wii accessories, which I will be pairing with Wiis, and then I think there should be some extra left over as well. I would estimate on all of this stuff, I don't know, we have some eBay items. Uh, also, oh, this uh, SNES was part of the trade at the end there. Rough estimate, I think I'm looking at more than a double up once all of this stuff sells maybe in the 800 range in profit. So for a, probably a week or so of work, I'm uh, pretty okay with that. It may honestly end up being a little bit more, but I wanna be, wanna err on the side of caution with my estimations. My burning question of the day for you guys today is what do you do when you get a good amount of games that aren't worth selling individually? Do you trade them with friends? Do you use them for your collection? Uh, do you trade them into game stores like me? Do you bundle them up and sell them on eBay? Uh, I would love to know if there are other methods of disposing of your duds, but thank you guys as always so much for watching. I think this deal is going to be a good example of something where there's a lot of money in the small stuff. To be honest, I prefer doing deals that are like higher dollar items and fewer of them just because it's less work for the return but also it's just kind of fun to go through a large amount of stuff being able to buy a not a collection but a uh large amount of stuff like this is always a lot of fun definitely thanks again to lee for hooking me up with uh all of this stuff this is going to be a lot of fun to go through and uh, i will catch you guys also, before I forget, I wanted to uh, do the drawing for this lovely Ikea bucket hat. Not this one, but another one. Uh, from a couple videos back now, I have this random comment picker. In order to be qualified, you just have to be subscribed and also to uh, leave a comment about your favorite movie on that video. So let's see. Wallace Rocha, Korean movie alive on Netflix. So Wallace, congratulations. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you reach out to me on Instagram, I'll get your shipping information and get you one of these bad boys. And I'm actually gonna do another one today, another giveaway. In order to qualify for it, this time you have to answer with what is your favorite video game of all time. So be subscribed, like the video, and comment with that below. And in a future video, I will do a drawing and hopefully get you one of these guys. I'm gonna try to do this as often as I can because I just think they are so nifty. But on the whole, I think this is gonna be one of those deals that all of the small stuff, especially like the trade-in and the accessories and all that end up really paying off. Uh, pretty happy with the expected profit margin on this stuff will be a good amount of work. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will catch you on the flip.